Okay. In dynamic testing, we have two types again. Okay. Uh, white box testing and uh, black box testing. Okay. Means as a testers, we are going to involve in black box testing actually. Okay. We are not going to involve in actually uh, white box testing, but we have to uh, get an idea regarding that because we have to uh, explain in front of the interviewer and sometimes if they are asking any questions in that for that uh, situation if that situation come into picture we have to face that situation that's why we are going to discuss this topic okay this okay. is nothing but here white box testing is nothing but we are we have some other names also for that clear box testing white means glass box testing why they have given that name as nothing but they are uh, nothing but code is nothing but transparent, right? Because uh, inside the thing, okay, it is directly yeah. where they are testing inside the I means uh, nothing but source code. They are doing the testing on source code, means that is called uh, glass box testing or clear box testing. That's why they have given the name like that, okay? It is nothing but one more thing, it is called as a structural testing, also, okay? Next, it is, it is called stru structural testing. Structural, yes. Okay. Next, what is the need of this particular white box testing? Is nothing but I told you already. We discussed this point earlier only. Okay, finding defects in easy as code is visible. I told you in the stage of coding, if you are finding the yeah. defects, you see rectifying is very easy at that point of situation. But after delivering into the particular uh, testing department, if they will find the defect in some area, they have to check out the total source code related to the particular that defect area because uh, they have to check that, that area and after that affected areas also right yeah correct. all the things they have to check it and they have to uh, find out the defect then they have to solve the problem and they have to think in a way that uh, means if i will change this code where it is getting affected all the things they have to think and they have to modify the code right mm -hmm. for that situation means yeah. it's very difficult to find at that point of time that's why if we are going to find in the uh, place of the source code implementation, it is very easier to implement, it is very easier to solve also. Okay, there is a major motto of white box testing here. To remove many defects as possible, fix in defects, maybe it are tank consuming, I told you already, because it is having cause analysis takes times. Okay, I think root cause analysis. What is BBT you. stands for? Block bus testing. What's that, sorry? Black box, black box testing, black box testing. Block, block. BBG, black box testing. Okay, to ensure that it is a hundred percent code coverage. Hundred percent code coverage is nothing but uh, as per standards they develop that. Okay, all the areas, additional coverage and uh, looping coverage, and after that the particular uh, statement coverage is uh, completed or not, they are going to check in this particular white box testing. Okay, in this white box testing, we have unit testing and integration testing. I told you already the combination of unit testing and the yeah. white box testing is called as sorry, combination of uh, unit testing and integration testing is called as white box testing. Okay, in that unit testing also nothing but the small component. Okay, what, which is you are going to implement a small functionality if you are going to test on that particular functionality that is called unit testing. Okay, it's a small program. See that in source code, you have a lot many programs, a lot many functions, a okay, lot many procedures. Okay, it's a means combination of all the things is nothing but source code, nothing but .exe file, right? Means like this, we have number of programs in that particular source code. Okay, under that, this is program one is one, nothing but one of the program. Okay, this is the some example program. Okay, if you test individually like this, this is called unit testing or component testing. Okay, whatever it may be, you are testing functions or procedures or uh, normal program, whatever it may be, that is called the particular unit testing. Unit testing. Okay, it is conducted by the developer. Okay, these are the things actually uh, we discussed about uh, before only, right? No need to go in depth, I think. You know all these things, just I am giving a brief overview about this. Okay, means we, we have to concentrate on blog bus testing more. Okay. This is called yeah, because uh, unit this is yeah. Can I get it? So just in, in reference to let's say Gmail, the, uh, the login login part of it itself, it it uh, I, I believe that is just a unit, right? Yes. Not I test a unit means testers will not involve in that. They are doing testing on not on the front end application, they are doing testing on the source code. 
No, no, developers are doing a uh, developers are doing a testing on a source code. Hence, uh, white box testing is uh, in a picture. Yes, yes, yes. But in yes. terms of this, uh, in terms of understanding part of it, mm. what I'm trying to say here is, uh, program one, program two. Mm. So we can say program one is just a login slide. Mm. Then uh, pr program two is let's say a compose email. Uh, yeah, okay. So. That is what uh, you're trying to say, right? Is a unit, is a small, small yes, exactly. portion yes, of. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Under that, if you if you are going to test on the front end application, what you said, okay, that is called block bus testing. If you are going yeah. to test inside the coding, means nothing but behind the application there is a source code, right? If the source code is there, then only the particular yeah. application is get visible to you. Means. If you test on that particular source code, that is called white box test. That's a white box test. Okay, that thing will be done by the developers. Front end application testing will be done by the particular testers. Deep, basically, debugging is, it will be like kind of a method which a developer will use in terms of finding Not out. Exactly. The debugging is different. Debugging is different. Okay, debugging is, is only it? for only for the code which you have developed. <clears throat> that is executing step by step nothing but if you are finding some mistake in a thousand lines of code it is not possible to uh, find out if you execute in a single shot okay for that case they what they are doing is they will go for debugging step by step they will execute that and after getting a step by step execution they will find where that particular mistake is coming to picture that is debugging is different okay this is this testing is after completion of course single single course just they are checking if I will give you this input is that expected output is coming or not. Uh -huh. Okay, this means okay. this is a program which you have written here for uh, A is bigger or uh, A is not big, right? Means if I will give A equals to 20, B equals to 30, what is the output? Sorry, can you repeat? If A, A equals to? to 20, B equals to 30, what is the output? In this program, it will be uh, a, yeah. A is not A is not big. A is not big, right? Means at that point of time, right, right. If, if that particular expected output is A is not big, right? After executing the program, it right. is giving A is not big or not. Initially, he will check. Developer will check, cross check it by himself. Is that working fine or not? Nothing but unit testing. Is a single component testing. Okay, individual components, yeah. individual groups testing. That is called uh, unit testing.